Hello, everyone, and welcome back. My name is Lady Calamir, and today I am doing my 69th video. And guess what? I have been doing this for a whole year. My first video was on Oya on November 16th, 2020. So... Today's presentation will be on the Egyptian goddess Paquette. I that's why you heard me, Paquette. Who is Paquette? Okay, so let's talk a little bit. Bast was originally a lion-headed goddess before she became domesticated. Please look at my video on Bast, and she was of. Lower Egypt, which was Northern Egypt. Then you had Sekhmet, who re retained her ferocity. And she retained the form of a lion, usually as a lioness or a woman with the head of a lion. And she was in Southern Egypt, which was Upper Egypt. I know, it goes by the flow of the Nile. So in between, we have Middle Egypt. That's where Paquette main cult center was. And Paquette means she who scratches or she scratches. And one would think, oh, <laughs> cute. I got scratched by a cat. Uh, did you ever get scratched by a lion? Yeah. If you got scratched by a, a lioness, you'll be picking your face off the ground and going heading towards the emergency room. So she who scratches, she scratches. So she was m worshipped in Middle Egypt, in the Middle Kingdom. And one who really worshipped her was, the f and this is very rare, female pharaoh. Yes, a female pharaoh named Hetzetshub. She wasn't just a queen, she was a pharaoh. So she's, that is really interesting. And Paquette was in, in in a place that is uh, now known as Beni Hassan, where her main temple was. So the ones who really worshipped her for her worth is Hetzetchup and... Also, the Pharaoh Thumo, was it Thutmosis, Thutmosis the Third, of the Eighteenth Dynasty, and Hetzetshep re rebuilt or restored some of the temples that the Hyksos invaders ruined, destroyed or partially destroyed. Now. Here's the thing, pa Paquette later on becomes part of segment or usually bossed, mostly bossed. And it says, oh, well, it's her more ferocious form as Paquette or her passionate form because Paquette is, it's passion stems from the word Paquette bullshit. It does not. Okay. And what happened was when the Greeks finally came, they saw Paquette as their goddess Artemis, just like they saw Bost as their goddess Artemis. And they named the temple the Spios, Spios Artemidos, which was the cave of Artemis, because her one of her main temples was built by Hetzetshep was like a cave form. So that, and it, it also another thing is, is later on feminist says, oh, Paquette is the, fem is the personification of a woman's menstruation. But mainstream Egyptologist has dismissed that. Totally dismissed it. So she was later just seen, ah, she's just, uh, 
she's just a minor goddess, blah, 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 or just she's not her own deity. But yet, Egyptologists are now looking at it and say, yes, she is her own deity. So, one could say from the Feroz, that city is segment the most ferocious, Paquette is the middle, and then at uh, least ferocious as boss because later on she becomes domesticated even though some still worshipped her as a war goddess as a bloodthirsty war goddess so Puck and a lot of people would say oh the only lioness headed goddess is Sekhmet no there's there was boss Paquette Sekhmet Tefnut and more there were more lion headed gods as well as goddesses in ancient Egypt. Now we have someone who wants to join us. So Pakhet, interesting enough, her temple, you know, is excavated. Loads and loads, a myriad of mummified cats. And also along with that, hawks, mummified hawks. You heard me right. So she was said to be a uh, Related with Ra, Ptah, Horus. She was uh, sort of like paired with Hathor. So again, so what is, who is Paquette? She is the lion-headed goddess. She is the goddess of the sun. She's a solar goddess. She's a fiery hot goddess, yet, yet she's a night dweller, too, because she hunts at night. Oh, yes, she does. She hunts her preys at night. But we see Paquette, who protects all cats, big cats and small cats, like and this big loaf of a cat. So cats are sacred to her. Cats have been mummified people. People have traveled miles upon miles just to bear to have their cats mummified at her temp at her they by her cult of cent her center worship. And what they would do when their cats die, of course they mourned. They would shave their eyebrows off. So, this goddess is not just a warrior, she's a hunter. In fact, one of her titles is Night Huntress with Sharp Eye and Pointed Claw. That's her name. Night, another title, another name. Night Huntress with Sharp Eye and Pointed Claw. She hangs out by a wadi, and that's like near the water at the boundary of a desert. And wadis could be, you know, places where lions go to drink. Now, another uh, cat that was associated with her was a caracal. And they were, they wandered the desert alone at night looking for their meal. So... She was associated with caracal. Now, as far as panthers, panthers, very rare, were very, 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 very rare in Egypt. And a lot of them were imported. So I have an ex that says, oh, Paquette is just the fierce form of boss. Boss herself is not that fierce, blah, blah, blah. Or she is fierce, but her fierce nuclear side is Paquette. Again, it's a misunderstanding. Yes, boss can be associated with Paquette. But Paquette just, like, it means she who scratches. Of course, boss scratches, so... She was also called Poshed. And some people feel that translation has been mistranslated by, uh, what's his name? The 
that got EA Budge, Wallace E.H. Budge, something like that. I, 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 I can't remember the name, I'm sorry. It's late here. So, her biggest temple is an underground temple known as Spios Artemidios, which means, like I said, the Cave of Artemis, even though it's not Artemis. But that's what the Greeks did. Oh, your gods are actually our gods. So, this goddess is also a weather goddess, a storm goddess. She deals with the desert storms, with the sandstorms. And these sandstorms could be from anything from light to extremely vicious, where it can literally cause dry eye to the point of temporary blindness or permanent blindness. Also, it can cause suffocation, coma, and death. She will be used to raise a storm against one's enemy, to tear apart one's enemy. Had such abused her, her victories, and gave her victories and thanks to Paquette. She was a protector against snakes and venomous creatures and vermin. She killed them. Those, she said, you know, just wearing her amulet would help protect. And she was a good protectress of women and children. Right, Lady Boss? Right. So, and also she helped women who were pregnant and ready and giving birth so the baby would be okay. She was also said to wear a woman, she could be a woman with a lion head or a lioness. And she was said to also wear a solar disc upon her crown. So other things about this powerful goddess, and I've had experiences with her. Is that She will protect your domesticated cats. She will defend them. So the other names are also terror, T to, to tear into. Another one name is she who opens the ways of the stormy rains. And this is again dealing with flash floods and a storm goddess. So not just of sandstorms, but of rainstorms. And sometimes these storms, as beneficial as they could be, was also very dangerous. It could flood your whole field. It could flood your house. It could kill you. Even in modern times, we see flood, flood waters swooping up cars and killing people. Even today, she is the goddess of the red hot desert. So we would associate red with her color. So her temple, Beni Hassan, was actually called Alminya at one point. There is also all also a coffin text to her saying that something that she you something to deal with you the dawn who wake and sleep the god the goddess or you who are in limpness and calling i have appeared as paquette the great whose eyes are keen and whose claws are very sharp and that I am the lioness who sees and catches by night I can't remember the whole thing but that's how it goes I don't have it in front of me because apparently I, I wrote that down and I left it so oh well I don't do good with notes right well I could do good but I like not using notes so we see her as a goddess of day and night. So 
so other things to this great goddess is that Paquette is called the great or the great Paquette. And one of her titles is Lady of Sept, S -E -P, Lady of S-E-P-T, which can be sort of like translated as Lady of the Star of Sothis. So we see that she's the Lady of the Star of Sothis. So some people have even identified her and compared her to, to the goddess Aset Isis. And also one of her titles is Horus Paquette. So we see her associated with Horus, but also the Hawks. So Horus Paquette. One of her titles is dealing with being great of magic. And she's also called the Huntress at Night. She's also called, she's also called, her name is Paquette Waret Hekau. And like I said, she of great has, and this is one of she who has great magic. Again, Paquette Waret Hekau. Oh, wait, Lady Boss, come on. Let's talk about, oh, she started off. So Hetzetchep would give her a lot of praises and would give her offerings of incense. So some, some of the offerings that you definitely could give this goddess, beer, mead, bread, wine, Offering of your blood, meat, chicken, beef, turkey. You can give her some fish, incense, stick, resin. Mm, she's looking her lips when I said beef. Look at her. She's looking her lips. Let's see. Let's look at her lick her lips. When I said steak. <laughs> Look at her. Mmm. So give her bread. Bread was any type of bread you like. You can give her plain bread, wheat bread, raisin bread. Give her uh, delightful things like chocolate. She likes perfumes and perfumed oils. Other things you can give her is honey, honey cakes, milk. Oh, excuse me, some candlelight fire, bonfire to her, light that to her. She also would appreciate helping cats, whether it's a domesticated cat or giving money to uh, big cat sanctuaries. And do or maybe volunteering your time so that could be used as an offering to this great goddess and like i said i would use red and i would use solar stuff and i would use solar energy so give her solar energy fruit like foods like oranges tangerines things like that would be cool citrine for stones okay citrine Orange citrine, red citrine, give her yellow topaz, tiger iron, tiger's eye, cat eye stones. Those it, it those are just some of the stones, like sunstones. Forgot that so can't forget the sunstones. So those are just some of the stones that could be associated with her. And of course her metal would be gold, right? So we can worship her during the day and during the night. You can use her against your enemies to protect you as offense and defense. She could be used to destroy because she was a war goddess too. Remember that. As well as a storm goddess and a huntress. 
Don't ever forget that. So some of these temples have not survived or some of them after had set up, some people have defaced things and unfortunately. So some of the temples have not survived. And like I said, the Greeks who later occupied Egypt for what, what, like 300 years? Identity, you know, kind of combined with pocket with Bost. So we see that she gives power and energy and strength. She will not back down. And and like a scene of Hesetcha giving offerings of incense and libations to the goddess. And she is rewarded with uh, that she's given that, that paquette gives stre all strength, all power, all might, and all the lands. And all the hill country that will be crushed beneath Hesetcha's sandals like raw. She will stand like Ra, triumphant against all her enemies. So we see stuff like that, and we see her as powerful, mighty, and strong. She is said to her claws are so sharp and so powerful that she can carve out mountains with her sharp claws. And with her teeth, she will defeat the enemies. She will eat them. Paquette is not your little naughty kitten. She is mighty and powerful. So one of my experiences with Paquette, and I do want to bring this up, is, and I'm ever grateful. So I moved from, from New Orleans to Florida, to where I am now. And where I'm at now, well, when I first moved here, where I'm in the state in 2008, my landlord seemed good at first, but he was a rotten piece of shit. He said that I can have, that my, you know, we had like a whole big, the yard was fenced off where the cats can go out if they want and be protected. And then, of course, under supervision. Well, eventually, you know, my landlord said he took more and more rights off me. And I'm like, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. But he said, oh, you know, so my friend took him out, my my cat's out in the back, and my cat flip, shadow flipped out. And the shadow's still with me, as you'll know. And he was scared. And he was crying, so my friend brought him, tried to bring him in, and my landlord opened up the sliding door. And, at because my landlord hated me, and because he hated me, he tried to crush my cat. Because my cat was scared and was just crying. He tried to slam the sliding door on him. My friend caught the sliding door. Cat Shadow, who's never violent or vicious, scratched him across the leg and, caught, and caused my landlord, Jim at that time, to bleed. And he ran over under my landlord's bed and I was called in. And, and of course he told my friend, I should have crushed that fucking cat. That little bastard. That's what he said, but my scared innocent cat. And this, he's a real, well, he was a real psycho. Anyways, I get my cat, and I'm thinking, he's hurt. He's scared. He's slinking. Luckily, he was jumping up on the refrigerator and everything. But I said I was going to take him to the vet if I had to, and you're going to pay for it. And, I'm, and if anything is broken on him, I'm calling the police. My landlord denied it. My friend said he was there because we were. he was living with my landlord at that time. 
and I was living in a sectioned off house, which was against, the way he did it was totally against cold. Anyways, what I did was, I was angry, then I calmed down, and that's when I should be feared once I calmed down. So I'm angry, I'm just blowing off steam. So I call through this whole circle, this whole thing, and I called Paquette. And I called Bost, but I also called Paquette. And I tore, told pa Paquette to fuck him up. Fuck him up. But I told her I do need a place to live. So as funny as it would be to see him get into a fucking car accident and blow up, I need a place to live with my cats. And I had explained that. Oh, she took care of my landlord real good. He got sick. Right after the ritual, he got sick and stupid motherfucker. She said, I'm going to fuck his head up. Stupid motherfucker was in the gym and he was swimming and he wasn't careful. And I don't know what happened. He's swimming so fast. He smacked his head off the wall of the pool and he was bleeding. He had to go by emergency to the hospital to get his head stitched up. Oh, good baby. So, yeah, I cursed him. And he was sick several times. Paquette cursed his ass. He had one problem after another, after another, after another. So I left. The fu I left within a year. I was gone. From at 2009, I left to another place. I could not stand this son of a bitch. And even after I left the landlord, he found he knew where I lived, and several times. He was taught to my, this guy was, I would like to run her over. And he actually nearly ran me over. I saw it. What am I going to do? I have no proof. But I know it was him. And there's several times he would drive by and I was like outside and I had to run into a store. And that's how crazy this guy was. So actually, when I was graduating from, you know, vet tech, I found out he died from a horrible heart attack. Oh, let's get the violins and feel sorry for the animal abuser, right? Now that I call, I didn't, I st I didn't even bother with him anymore after, after you know he left me alone. But I damn well called Paquette, and I've called Paquette on several people, and everyone I called her on. They deserved it, and they got hurt. Paquette, I had to protect my cats. So she, she is a very active goddess. She's not passive at all. This goddess does not fucking play. You call her on someone, understand she will slash them up. She will put their asses in an emergency room. Okay? She will put them in an emergency room. Or she will fuck them up and make them real sick. Or she can even... She can be used for death spells. Seriously. And if you're a warrior... You, you, you're you a soldier... You can call her. She's a goddess of soldiers. She's a goddess of warriors. She's an active goddess of war. She's a fucking weapon. So, if if she's not the most approachable goddess, but when you need her, oh yeah, she'll protect your cats. And with that, she won't play. So, there's not a lot of literature in books. Like, I've seen, uh, I have a book. I, I should have, I should got, let me see if I have it. Let me go... I'll be right back, guys. So please deal with me. I'm such a bozo sometimes. I forget things. So, I got them. I have two books, okay, that have about her. Primal Meetings with the Dark Goddess She by Storm Constantine and Andrew Collins. And this actually, I don't know where I have it. Uh, 
I don't know what page it is. So, uh, just deal with me for a minute. And I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope you like that story. It brings me happiness to know that an animal abuser got their just desserts. I hate people who abuse animals. I think they're pieces of shit. So here we are. Ah, here's the coffin. Okay, so Pocket Huntress of the Red Desert. Oh, you, let's see how good I remember this. Oh, you of the dawn who wake and sleep. You who are in the limpness, dwelling uh, for a time in Nadit, Nadit, sorry. I have appeared as Paquette the Great, whose eyes are keen and whose claws are sharp. The lioness who sees and catches by night. And this is from an ancient Egyptian coffin text. And this was translated by Raymond O. Faulkner. And here's a nice picture of her. Kind of looks like Sekman, huh? And another book that has some information, and not a lot though, but is Boston Sekhmet Eyes of Ra, Storm Constantine and Eloise Coquille. That's why I had to go get my book. I had to go to the my shelf and get it. So that's why I said uh, to please deal with me. What type of oils would be good for a pocket? Orange, mixed with maybe some frankincense or something really solar. Think of solar and cinnamon. Be careful with cinnamon oil, that's really caustic. You want to dilute it because it, it will cause, it, does, it, won't, it just can't cause, it will cause chemical burns, okay? You will get burnt, and you will get burnt. You will have chemical burns bad. It's not a joke. You get it in your eyes. You're you're gonna be in a world of sorry. Also, it can start if you start inhaling it too much, like the cinnamon could start causing like uh, moistness to develop in the bronchioles. Getting you can get a bronchitis from it. So. Be careful with cinnamon oil, okay? I know some people love the scent, but just understand. It's caustic. It's not a joke, some of these essential oils. They can cause a lot of damage if you're not careful. So you want to dilute your cinnamon oil if you put it on your skin with jojoba. Because jojoba won't cause the oil. Okay, cinnamon essence won't... This oil, oil in quotation marks won't oxidize in jojoba. If I put it in olive oil, it will eventually oxidize and it will break and it will be nasty. It will be rancid. So, FYI for that. So, Pockhead, is a goddess who you want on your side. And this is an image that I use for pocket. And this is heavy. This is real heavy. Look at this beauty. And it's got all the hieroglyphs on it. I got this at Home Goods, believe it or not. What a find. And it's got here. So, Paquette, some people feel she she is one of the eyes of Ra. But like I said, her worship started in the middle in the Middle Kingdom, in Middle Egypt. So, what else do you? want to know about her. She is the goddess that will nurture you, 
but also take. She can get very extremely angry and volatile and dangerous. So people, some people very, she could be like panthers, like I said, it's, they were considered sacred, but like I said, they were very rare. Now, another thing is that she is, her element is fire. And I think I forgot to say that. She's fiery. So, other things is that she will take care of cats in life and in death. So, if you have a cat that passed away, you can ask Paquette to protect his spirit. To help guide the spirit. And as for your enemies. Well. She'll just sharpen her claws on them. So what else do we want to know about this goddess? Ooh, heard a bang. <laughs> she is said to bring fright and fear and panic to the enemy and bring bravery to those who call her. Paquette is becoming more and more known in the internet. And more and more articles are being written about this wonderful goddess. Like I said, I I was walk, working with her and learning about her in the maybe mid-2000, maybe around 2005, right around there. But it was 2008 when I really needed her and she came. There's actually a ritual to D in DJ Conway's book, uh, Moon Magic, where she does a, a ritual to pa Boss, but if you really need Paquette. But she, again, she, she compares pa Boss with Paquette. And remember, Paquette has her, her own, she had her own cult, her own temples, her own self. So I want to thank you for watching this video and if you like please subscribe give me a like or give me a dislike if you didn't like this but if you really like this video please i'd appreciate it if you would uh share this video with your internet uh groups and online groups and share it through email through messenger through text to your facebook your your facebook group And if you like this video, if you can, please donate some money to a big cat rescue, whether it's $2, $3, when the There's a big cat rescue in Florida, and it was on Animal Planet, so they're legit. It's called Big Cat Rescue. And they have, they, I, I, I donated to them and I, I get uh, magazines from them and updates about, you know, they had Sarge and Lily on Animal Planet and they were tigers. And it's really cute, but it's, it was a long time ago on that episode. 
I forgot what the show was called, but it was featured with Sarge and Lily from The Big Cat Rescue. Oh, Big Cat Rescue. Yeah, it was also, they did a show. I, I watched one episode and it was a Tiger King and these two, this lady who rescues big cats did not like him and it was, I can't remember her name. She was accused of uh, killing her husband possibly feeding it to one of the tigers. And anyways, if you don't want to donate to that, then donate, then maybe think about helping some other group that saves these big cats from being used and abused as pets and being tortured. So again, thank you for watching this video and listening to my little bit of my rant. And as always, blessed be.